What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be talking about the new packs in NBA 2K21, my team. So these packs right here are the super packs. First of all, I do not advise anyone to ever buy packs, but I mean, call a spade a spade, these are probably the best, if you're going to buy packs, probably buy super packs, since instead of a 2% chance at a diamond or higher, there's a 10% chance, even though there is, if you guys look at it here, the fact that there is a 99% chance at getting an 87 plus rated player means there is a 1% chance of getting Festus Azili. You have a 1% chance of getting Corey Brewer or Festus Azili. They're the only two Sapphire cards that you can get in these packs. As well as that, there's an 89% chance. So there's a 90% chance. There is a 90% chance you don't get a diamond. And if anything under a diamond, if his name is not like... I think more expensive rubies there is. There are Smush Parker or nothing. So, anyway, let's have a look who's in these packs. I mean, everybody. Wait, there's eight opals? Am I wrong in saying there were nine opals you can buy? I don't know why I thought there were nine opals. Are any of the opals missing from this? Or am I just, have I just gone crazy? So like Mellow, obviously Kenyon Martin and stuff are in these packs. So the diamond cards, I reckon a lot of people are going to be pulling diamonds from boxes. I'd, even though the, like the odds are 10%, so you're basically guaranteed, well, you're more than likely going to get two diamonds per box. So let's have a look at what it's done to the price of players. And just see how many of certain cards have been packed. So let's look at AD. I don't think, again, I don't think it's going to affect AD or anything. As I said in my video yesterday, I don't think it is. So AD obviously ending nearly like 700k, so it's been about an hour and 20 minutes. So at the 2 hour 30 mark, we can really see how many there's been. 228, 246, 258. I mean, there might have been a spell for about 2 minutes where a bunch of ADs were getting pulled, but like unless you're in this like period here from like the 3, 259 to like 3, 23 maybe or 318 where you've got like seven or eight and finished in 18 minutes you're really not getting a whole lot more there's not a lot more of these in the market than there was previously lebron i reckon is probably something similar i mean there's actually a lot a fair chunk of lebron's being pulled can't lie i consider and at some stage there's only like nine or ten of him on the market so there is like i reckon something like lebron for in like two and a half hours when all these cards start to finish two and a half three hours I do reckon that LeBron is probably going to go down. Like, these cards are going to go down probably about 40, 50k. And then they're going to spike right back up. Well, they're going to go right back up for a couple of days anyway. So, yeah, that is my... that's My predictions kind of held out. Like, there's a little bit of a drop, but they didn't drop too much. However, some cards that I am predicting to have a huge drop just is Smush Parker in packs. Because that's a, uh, that's a big one. Because sometimes they're not actually, in fact, in packs. Some of these lower overall cards. Okay, so... I'm not entirely sure. I just need to check. Are any of these... Okay, so if Charlie Scott's in packs, then it means it's almost certain that Smush Park is in packs. He's in the same. The same promo as Charlie Scott. So, Smush Parker. This card right here. He, that is a big one. Like, that is a big one to see what price he has gone to. He's like, he was up near, nearly 20k yesterday. Alright, so he's dropped quite a bit. Like, Smush Park is down to 10 go. This is the best 10k you're ever going to spend. And you can see, yeah, there's so many Smush Parkers on the market. Like, there's none that are finishing for eight minutes. So you might be saying, oh, people are just putting them up in the It's like, no, no, none are finishing in eight minutes. And now there's like two, three a minute. Like, he's dropped to like eight, nine K. Like, all I'm going to say is that by the looks of things, my prediction video yesterday is spot on as to what happened to the market. Cards like this are going to tank. So... Let's see what's under Rudy Fernandez because he was a one. He was a card that I potentially could um, saw a lot of dip in. So he's around like 34, 35k yesterday. Let's see, is there much of a drop in Rudy Fernandez? So you can see actually he's gone down to like 30k, and then from here on down is when you're probably gonna start to see a whole bunch of them. Yeah, you're seeing Rudy Fernandez every two minutes. Uh, you know what? He didn't drop as much as I thought. Like he dropped to 27. Like he dropped about. Whatever, but 6, 7k. I thought he was going to drop to 25. He still might drop 25, but I think he's probably had his biggest drop. So 27k, it's a little bit less than I expected, but it's still a drop. It is still quite a bit of a drop. 
So, but anyway, like these cards, let's have a look actually who's come out recently that might be kind of expensive and amethyst. These throwback moments might have a, and um, there might be a huge, huge change to some of these throwback moments cards. Any of these are good. And um, the top tier cards, again, you're not going to notice any difference in them. I think Bob McAdoo. Like, I don't think there's been that many more Bob McAdoo's pulled, to be completely honest. But Smush Parker, obviously, the guy is halved in price since last night. I reckon maybe 1, 2k of that is just because it's been a day. And I reckon a lot of that is used to super packs. You can see the amount of them that are being pulled. Bonga's a card. Bonga could be cheap, actually. Bonga could be nice and cheap because a Bonga card? Because Bonga's good off rip and limited. Um, like you need to Evo up, um, what's his name, to be good in limited. You need to Evo up the um, Smush Parker card, but Bonga's like good off rip. Let's check Bonga. Has he gone down? Not Amethyst Bonga. Last year was Amethyst Bonga. I forgot. Heat check is for some reason in between Amethyst and Ruby. So yeah, like you can see here. Bonga 247. 3.5k. Bonga gone down to like... What? Like look at the amount of them. It's been like two weeks since these cards are in packs. He's down to 3k MT. 2950. I mean, I've never, like, at this stage in the game, a 6A Curry Sliding Showtime point guard is 2,000 MT. Like, what? What? Like, there's no, there is no question about it that for certain cards, the market has completely, completely dropped. And, yeah, it is just, it's one of those situations where, again, what, we've seen enough super packs, these people always talk about how super packs don't crash the market. And again, as we said in yesterday's video, the people that are talking about how super packs don't crash the market are talking about how Tracy McGrady might barely drop or he drops more from panic selling, which is, I would do agree. But like, nobody's panic selling Smush Parker. Nobody's panic selling Bonga. Nobody's panic selling Rudy Fernandez. Like nobody's pan panic selling guys at around like 40, 50K. Like actually Dino. Dino Raja could be an ultra cheap player right now let's see what dino's looking like hey today could be an, a legitimately great day to pick up dino no i thought maybe he could have gone down to 25 because he had been like at below 40 but like look at the price of dino like dean look at the amount of them there's a dino up every three or four minutes at this stage like dino raja is below 30 kmt like what so, like, he's a steal, man. He's a steal. Like, these are the cards you need to look for in this market. I'm going to make another video later today. Talking about all the best cards to pick up because the market is down. But, I am telling you. The top tier Galaxy Opal market is not down. But I'm telling you. Any card that came out that is an Amethyst or lower is tanking. Without question, they are Absolutely tanking in price. Many cards in Amthus are lower. And Kobe's probably super cheap. Kyle Anderson, obviously, he was cheap. You've got less than 3k. Bonga, Smush Parker is halved in price. Dino Raja is now below 30k, which is nuts. Obviously, some of the diamond cards, um, some of the diamond cards are going to go in. I don't think others will. In pink diamonds, it all really depends on the pack weight. I'm, I'm going to have to look more specifically at um, individual cards. But Opals, it's going to have... Like, yes, there's going to be, like, that 40-minute spell where a bunch of demand, and they're going to drop by a little bit just because um, a bunch of demand. But, like, that's no different than, say, for example, a bunch of people putting up cards. Opals only go down when people are panic selling or when they're replacing a card. Like, for example, if they come out with a Galaxy Opal Kareem Abdul-Jabbar on Friday, that's in packs, and every single person is going to replace their Hakeem with Kareem. Hakeem's price is obviously going to go down. Or if um, they leak Thursday night that Hakeem, that Kareem is coming, then that's even worse for people with Hakeem because everyone's selling their Hakeem if they leak that Kareem's coming the night before. But um, yeah, that is pretty much it anyway. That is the video. Just a quick um, summary of what has gone on. Obviously, we made our prediction video yesterday. So today's video is just more so looking at what has happened in the market. And just like we... It's a pattern that we've noticed. I didn't know, like obviously, like I guess basically completely right what was gonna happen yesterday, but that's only because I've been noticing patterns. 
obviously season one super packs we thought there was going to be a bigger market crash than there was season two super packs we thought there was going to be a bigger crash than there was season three i started to notice the pattern of what specifically goes down and obviously the exact same thing has happened in season four thankfully it doesn't seem like there's been too much panic selling going on so people aren't going to lose a ton of mt however 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 there is there's always potential for, to lose mt in the future but panic selling is almost never the answer sometimes panic selling works um if you can beat it like if you sell while it's at its highest and you beat everyone trying to panic sell yeah it can work but other than that yeah it's, it's sometimes well, it often works out very badly so anyway yeah that's pretty much it that is the video thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe